Zimbabwe's new cabinet provokes discussion. After being re-elected last month, President Emerson Umingagwa just unveiled the composition of Zimbabwe's cabinet. But several elements of the new government have sparked debate. Zimbabwe's economy is still having trouble, with problems including high unemployment and inflation. This was partly caused by the late Robert Mugabe's decades-long dictatorial regime, which ended in 2017. Mingagwa, a longtime supporter of Mugabe, assumed power on the promise of economic and political reforms. Critics, however, assert that his administration has had difficulty preserving democratic standards and stabilizing the economy. ZANU-PF, the winning party in the August election, was dogged by claims of fraud, intimidation of voters, and other anomalies. The main opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC party contests the election results and claims that the new cabinet, which consists of friends, family, loyalists, and the least competent, is the worst since Zimbabwe's independence in 1980. Given the contentious nature of the election, CCC spokesperson Promise Mkwananzi said that the appointments failed the credibility and legitimacy test. Many former members of the cabinet, including the finance minister, were kept on. Yet, there were questions about nepotism when the president's son and nephew were added as deputies. A 26-member expansion was also questioned as an ineffective use of funds in tight times. Some believe that promoting current politicians and leaders into important positions lacks the motivation and signals needed to affect economic change. This may jeopardize efforts to rebuild confidence after yet another heated vote, say outside experts. In regard to Zimbabwe's ongoing issues, various components of the new cabinet appointments have sparked controversy about objectives and technical competency issues. The way the administration responds to criticism may have an impact on its ability to regain credibility both at home and abroad, as the nation attempts to stabilize its status. The situation should nevertheless be closely watched.